Jesse Smollett, a longtime actor and star on the hit TV show Empire, tells police he's the victim of a brutal beating. The actor claims he was beaten in an unprovoked attack by two race-baiting homophobes who doused him with a chemical, draped a noose around his neck, and yelled, this is MAGA country. He did grant interviews to the police initially, but in recent days has declined repeated requests to meet again with detectives. So I actually wasn't going to do a video about this because in 2016 I actually covered fake hate crimes, aka shit that never happened land. Now what is shit that never happened land, you ask? In shit that never happened land, there's always a long detailed story in which the author is always made to be this moral high ground angel. They almost all start with the author just minding their own business, being innocent. Whether it be walking down the street or on a train, for some reason, those are the two like most common. But then suddenly, a person that is part of the ideology, their ideology deems evil, comes up and does something evil, stereotypical of said ideology. I'm talking about Jesse Smollett. Sorry, Jesse Smollett. He is a celebrity who very recently claimed he was a victim of a hate crime. It turns out all of that was bullshit and he actually paid two dudes he knew to fake beat him up. And these dudes don't really look like the dudes that will come to your mind when you think of Trump supporter, this is MAGA country types. Now, as I said, I already talked about fake hate crimes before, but I feel like this one is a little different because it was a celebrity. We are going to watch this dude's interview about this, now knowing that it's all bullshit. Musician and actor Jesse Smollett sat down with me for his first interview since that night in Chicago. Listen, if I tell the truth, then that's it, because it's the truth. If I tell the truth, then that's it, that's the truth. Someone definitely tell you the truth. How can you doubt that? Like, how do you, how do you not believe that? Because there are thousands and thousands of accounts of fake hate crimes. And there are real hate crimes. There are a lot. In my old video, I was like, oh, Trump's America, blah, blah, blah. But it is true that the hate crimes have increased. FBI statistics have increased since then. And that's not surprising because the country is a mess. If I were him and it really happened, I would be like, oh, you might doubt it, but it did happen. Like, I understand if you're skeptical, but nah. The truth is the truth. I'm telling the truth. Did I mention I'm telling the truth? And then it became a thing of like, oh, it's not necessarily that you don't believe that this is the truth. You don't even want to see. Seems legit. You either believe him or you're a terrible person. What happened that night, Jesse? When I landed in Chicago and Frank Gatson, who's like my uncle, and he's also my creative director, and he picked me up. We got back to the apartment. There was no food. And so I went out to Walgreens thinking that they were 24 hours and to have a smoke. Walgreens was closed. Um, so I called him up and I said, hey, I'm going to run to Subway, which was across the street, and I'm going to get a salad. Do you want anything? I went to the Subway and got the order. I texted my manager thinking that he was still in Australia because he was on an Australian tour with one of his other clients. This, I think, <laughs> just to be clear, I've never actually watched this. I only watched a few seconds and I was like, I want to do a video reacting to this now knowing that this is bullshit. So this is what I think gives it away the most. It wasn't that two guys at two in the morning were carrying bleach in freezing temperatures and just so happened to have a noose on them. Is that this dude is going like full fucking detail, like every little detail, like um, there was no food in the house, so I went to Walgreens thinking I have a smoke, but Walgreens was closing. I really wanted a salad. Like, <laughs> it makes it sound so much more unbelievable when they feel like they have to go above and beyond to tell the story. I kept walking and then I heard Empire and So I turned around and I said, the did you just say to me, this MAGA country And then everyone on the train stood up and clapped. I noticed the rope around my neck and I started screaming and I said, there's a rope around my neck. When this story first came out, I was like, holy fuck, that's actually really scary. I'm sure a lot of people had that reaction. Like, the more details came out, the more I was like, is this a shit that never happened land story? Is this seriously a shit that never happened land story? But I didn't say anything because if it wasn't a shit that never happened land story, I would look like an asshole. And I didn't want to doubt this guy. As a gay man, you were considered somehow to be weak. And I'm not weak, you know, at the end of the day, 
Look what has happened. Your tears say more than real evidence ever could. The audacity of this dude. The audacity. The aw- and I can't stress this enough, DACITY of this dude to fake this when there are real life hate crimes happening almost every day. Recently, there were like three or two trans women, black trans women that got fucking MURDERED! MURDERED! And on the same exact day Jussie pulled his bullshit, a Jewish person got the shit beat out of him in New York, it was caught on camera, and it got like, no attention! And according to ABC on Tuesday, a group of mothers who lost their sons to violence and whose cases remain unsolved gathered to speak out about the amount of resources dedicated to the Smollett case rather than their son's unsolved cases. This is so gross for so many reasons. I know it's not like a, a new take to say this, but what this does is it makes it harder for people to believe real hate crimes that happen. And unfortunately, a big celebrity doing this is going to have that effect tremendously. Subway is open 24 hours for a reason. So that when you are hungry at night and you ain't got no food, you go to Subway. Subway, you get your $5 foot more. It's fucking Subway, Jared. It feels like if I had said it was a Muslim or a Mexican or someone black, I feel like the doubters would have supported me a lot Shut much up. more. Shut up. Shut up. First of all, it was a black guy. It was two black guys that you knew and paid. There's so much hate and divide in this country that you would easily point to if you wanted to push a narrative. Why do you gotta make shit up? They asked for my phone. They wanted me to give my phone to the tech for three to four hours. I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna do that. I have private pictures and videos. Every has private pictures and videos. The police aren't gonna care if they see your dick or your boyfriend's dick or whatever. They're not going to care. The police deal with way more fucked up shit than just some random dude's nudes. My private emails, my private songs. My I don't want to freak you out, guy, but uh, the NSA already has that shit. <laughs> of course, there were blue check marks on Twitter coming out of the woodwork when this happened who were like, who cares if it's fake? Hate crimes are real. Like, yes. That's the issue! One of them also had a really hot take like, the MAGA people celebrating this are disgusting. And it's like, this dude lied about the MAGA people. True. They're in their right to celebrate this being false, in my opinion. They are well within their right to laugh about this. Also, it's a good thing this didn't happen. It's a good thing this dude didn't actually experience something this terrible. Overall, the only victims in this whole scenario were the people who have actually experienced hate crimes or will experience a hate crime. So basically, shit that never happened land. Got a new citizen. <laughs> Welcome, Jussie Smollett. So that was that, and I will see you guys super soon with a new video. Bye!